So here is an interesting shortcut, right? Especially for problems of this form. Again, this all come from master theorem, right? You can prove all of them just the way you prove master theorem. These shortcuts help you answer these types of questions faster, right? Even without them, you can solve these problems. It's not rocket science. You can use the basic methods and solve almost every recurrence relation. This only helps you speed up. If you can remember all of these, it's a great way to, to, to arrive at answers very fast, right? So imagine if I have a recurrence relation like this, where you have Tn as A into A multiplied by Tn minus B, okay? Here, look at this. This is not N by B. This is N minus B, okay? This is in the subtraction form. In the master theorem, we see At N by B, right? So that's a difference here. And if this, what you have here is big O of N par K. Here, the requirement here is that A should be greater than 0, B should be greater than or equal to 1, and K should be greater than or equal to 0, right? There are three cases here based on A. If A is greater than 1, then Tn is big O of N par K, A par N by B. If A equals to 1, exactly, then Tn is big O of N par K plus 1. Okay, you don't have to worry about B anymore, right? If A equals to 1. If A is less than 1, then T par N, then Tn is big O of N par K, right? So my suggestion is if you have great memory, right? If you have great memory and if you can remember some of these variations of master theorem or shortcuts, you can solve problems very well. Even if you cannot remember, that's okay. You'll still be able to solve these problems using standard methods the way we have solved other problems. But if you have great memory and if you can recall all of this, especially you need to remember these and you need to remember each of these cases, then it's a great tool. These shortcuts help you save time in a real exam like setting, right? Okay. Having said that, so let's see, let's actually solve a problem based on this, right? So I have a problem here. Okay. So this is a C function assuming N greater than zero. The question here is the time complex to the following C function. Here is the function that I'm given is one of these four options. Let's look at this function recursive int n. If n equals to 1, return 1, right? Otherwise, return recursive n minus 1 plus recursive n minus 1. So, what is the recurrence relation I have? Tn equals to Tn minus 1 because of this plus Tn minus 1 plus some constant for, for all of these testing, right? Plus some constant. This is the recurrence relation that I have. Now, this can be written as because these two are the same, I can write it as 2t n minus 1 plus c, right? This is the recurrence relation that I have. Okay, let's let's just highlight it, right? If you notice, this is exactly in the form that I want. Look at it. What do I have? I have, again, let, let me just change the color here, okay, so that it's easier. So, I have tn as 2t n minus 1 plus some constant. Now, let's fill in. So, what is my a here? This is my A, right? What is my B? My B is this. What is my N par K? Like if you look at this, right? What is my N? My, so C can be written as, let's look at what I can write C as big O of N power 0, right? Because N power 0 is constant 1, right? So what do I have? I have my K equals to 0. So I have my K equals to 0. And this satisfies the condition because K has to be greater than equal to 0. B has to be greater than or equal to 1 and B is exactly equal to 1. So I have K equals to 0, B equals to 1 and A equals to 2. Right? Right? This is simple. Nothing fancy here. Okay. Let me erase this part. Now let's try to solve this. Which, which case does it fall into? Is A greater than 1? Yes. It falls into this case because A equals to 2. Right? So it falls into case 1 because A equals to 2. Right? Now what is my Tn? My Tn would be big O of n power k, n power, what is my k? 0, n power k. So n power 0 is 1, a power, what is a now? a is 2. So let's write a actually. a is 2. So 2 power n by, what is b? b is 1. Right? What is this same as? Big O of n power 0 is 1. So you can ignore it. n by 1 is n itself. So you get big O of 2 power n. Right? So by just knowing this equation, by just placing, by just putting the value of a to this, b to this, and getting your value of k, right? But if you know this, this is like literally, you can solve this problem in 30 seconds by just replacing the variables and sorting it out. If you don't know this, you can still solve it, but it might take longer period of time. 
So the answer here is uh, D, big O of 2 power n, right? So shortcuts like this, if you, if you have the memory to remember them and if you can recall them, especially these conditions and the each of the cases, they are a great tool to solve problems fast.